Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. It's been... It's been a while. It's been a while since we've done one of these videos. Um, but this one's a little different. Um, today I'm just gonna grind. And, uh, talk about all the stuff going on with BDO. And, uh... Yeah. Where I've been, what I've been doing. But yeah, we'll get right into it. Um, first thing I want to talk about is where I've been. Um, I really loved Twitch streaming. It was great. Good time. Met a lot of amazing people. I'll probably come back sometime and try it. Um, but IRL hit me pretty hard. And, uh, I had to step away from that. I'm back to work doing what I do. Um, working on air conditioning and heating systems. Um, but I still play this game every day. Got to take care of my daughter and a bunch of other things that have happened. Um, but besides that, I still enjoy this game. Is the game in a state where it's definitely the worst that I've seen player-wise uh, since I started playing the game? Uh, it's unfortunate because I really do enjoy this game. I like it quite a bit. I mean, I play it every day. Um, but the thing is, is no matter what happens in the game, I always try to make the best of the situation and enjoy the game that I really like playing with the people I like playing with. Uh, a lot of people doom and gloom. A lot of content creators doom and gloom. Um, just tons of just tons of players doom and gloom. Uh, choke quitting uh, was the craziest thing i've ever seen happen in a game um when a guild quits a game that they've been playing for eight years like the entire community was like the game's dead oh my god cho quit the game's really dead holy shit this fucking game is fucked um uh i've never seen that happen before just because one the best guild um, decides to quit and they may come back at some point after playing the game seven eight years um, it happens people need breaks doesn't mean the game's dead um, but really I think with PA's help of course that it's kind of the player base that has destroyed this game uh, I've seen it since I started playing the game uh, like for instance, scripted siege, people just sitting in castle, guilds not just being like, yo, you know, Krupp's been sitting in Valencia castle for, for months now. Like, let's all just go fucking wipe them out of the castle and then fight over castle. Like, you, you don't see that kind of stuff in this game. Um, and it's kind of a shame because that's what I think this game's all about is, you know, oh, Corrupts in fucking Valencia. Let's just get five guilds to drop there and go try to take them out. And then we'll fight over. Whoever gets it, gets it, you know? Um, but it's very scripted. Uh, besides, like, guilds like uh, Shamefall, Zerg, Mayhem, the people that are in actually involved in T2s, uh, infamouses in T2s, um, they siege... Uh, Guilds like that, in my opinion, are much better off for the game than a guild like Corrupt that just sits in castle and then drops T1s. Um, like, I feel bad for a guild like Digi, who is sitting in castle, who drop on a T3 node almost every night, and nobody drops on them, nobody contests them, nobody even tries to fight them, and uh, they literally have no PvP action unless they merc out. So, um, I think it's the players that are really, really destroying the scene with PA's help. Um, with that being said, the things that PA have done, um, some of it's been good. Some of it, I mean, some of it's been fantastic. These new accessories, the best thing to happen to the game. It literally helps new players, players who are um, in the mid-level area, and it helped even end-game players. Uh, it, it solved the hammer issue, in my opinion. When hammers disappear, it solves that issue. 
Gonna get a pen demo? Fine. Turn your tet into a Karazod and tap it up and you'll get more of a gain um, tapping it up to Nav or Deck than you would tap in a pen demo. And from what I've seen so far, yeah, it's based on odds, but it seems a lot less painful than Debarekos. Uh, so I really like these new accessories. I like the new crystals that are involved with them, the swap outs, all of that very well done update. Very well done update. The Land of the Morning Lice bo uh, boss, boss splits, the group boss splits. That shit is fun. Um, I'm the type of person who likes doing that type of content, uh, like not too often. I like doing it like once killing the boss on like hard mode and being like, yeah, I killed it on hard mode. Uh, rewards are juice as shit though. So that's why, you know, I try to still keep doing them. Um, so yeah, really good content, group content and really good rewards. W from PA for that. Uh, sovereign weapons to me are kind of a hit or miss. Um, I think it was uh, done wrong. I thought they were in the kitchen cooking and then they caught the kitchen on fire. Because um, to me, I have a problem with PA when they make promises uh, to the community and then they just break promises or they just scrap ideas or they just fuck something up. Uh, for instance, uh, one of them is uh, our Black Star weapon color changes. Where the fuck did they go? Why did why did we not get those? Oh, it's because they were making sovereigns and they're like, hmm, sovereigns. Cool. But then they make sovereigns, which are neat weapons and look super cool. But they fuck it up entirely by making it so that you only see the glow on pen and on oct. Instead of being like, hey, every enhance is a brighter glow like they did with the black star which is fucking stupid so now we're gonna get these sovereign color changes and my guess is they're gonna monetize the shit out of that because they saw the fucking people in the community like yes yeah, sweet awesome S different weapon colors for my black star yes that sounds awesome now they know they can make money on that so I doubt we'll uh, we'll see that uh, maybe one color for free and then have to pay. Who knows? I'm speculating. Um, but yeah, so PA's kind of like gone downhill for me. Um, after they started putting the crystal restorations in the pearl shop, I thought that was a very shitty thing to do instead of reworking or redoing or fixing the problem that players are having. Um, it's not so much of a big deal now as it was months ago because a Garen's crystal is worth less than a bill. Like, like, look at this, you know, but they already got all their money from all the people who bought those restoration months ago, you know? So I think that was a scummy thing to do. Another thing, the Halloween event this year, um, very, very lame event, in my opinion. Um, I thought it was very predatory for them to put the drop rate cookies in bundles on the Pearl shop. That's kind of scummy. Last year, it was my first, second month in. Halloween was amazing. They had this whole zone for Halloween. It was the Marnie zone. You go there, you get your 10-hour buff. You do your daily mini games. You get drop rate cookies for free. You go out there and then you grind for 10 hours. And then the next day you do the same thing, you know. And then there's two bosses. Um, which is okay. It's a great boss, but um, good, good drops. Like the furniture is great and all. But for them to put the drop rate cookies in bundles in the Perla shop, very predatory. Do not like that at all. Which brings me to these new scrolls. That are also in a bundle right now um, that give you a hundred percent drop rate and uh, basically an agris coin combined um, very predatory very shitty thing to do when that's something they can give out or something we can earn in game um, you know so um, these gamba boxes um, 
some are okay like i've opened um i've opened a few of all of them uh at least to just see what there's worth uh during the sovereign time the gamba boxes were absolutely amazing other times the gamba boxes are very predatory and very shit um rewards um unless you get super lucky but i mean that's the point of gamba boxes but that's up to the player if they want to pay for those or not. Um, what's upsetting is for players who uh, don't spend a lot of money on this game and can't get a value pack or a blessing or a comma Sylvia, um, Pearl Abyss does not really do good deals for those. Uh, they're always full price for what it seems. Uh, kind of scummy. So, um, yeah. Those are the you know things that uh, I really dislike that I've seen PA go downhill with since I started playing the game. But I've seen them make, do a lot of good things as well. I've seen them uh, make a lot of good changes, making it easier for new players to get geared, to catch up by giving out a free uh, Dream Horse to every new player, free Pen Black Star, free Tet Black Star, um, super cheap to get boss gear now. Arizot accessories are available to newer players too. You can go and grind a zone with 270 AP and, you know, get the stuff to tap them, like, get the crystals. Like, they did a really good job for retaining players. Um, the updates lately have been pretty good. Uh, I think, like, this zone needs to be buffed. I think it's kind of really ass for... The AP, it, it, what zone it is for a new zone, it's not really good at all. Uh, it was way better in Global Labs, and they nerfed it really, really hard. I think a little too hard. As you can see, I'm probably the only person grinding here. Um, but other than that, all these new updates, they've been really good. Uh, they need to make changes to the Node War system. I think the Node War system's fun. Our guild has enjoyed it quite a bit. We go out there and just fight three nights a week and just have a great time in the no new Node War system. We don't have to politic. We don't have to worry about anything. Like, we just get our guys and we fucking go out there and we cause problems. And that's what we really enjoy. Uh, we're going to start sieging soon because we are now a solo guild that has... Um, you know, almost 80 members. So, like, we're getting ready to siege as well. Like, we want to do that content. We love fighting against Zerg, against Shame, uh, Shamefall, Shameless, uh, Mayhem, uh, Infamous. Like, all these guilds. Like, we have fun in Node Wars. And we're not going to stop playing. We have fun. We grind together. We do Dolans. We're in Discord together. Uh, multiple people playing and just having a good time. We do bitch about... You know, some of the things we want changed in the game, but at the end of the day, it's not going to stop us from playing the, the game. Like, if you don't like where the game's at and you're not having fun, don't play the game. But don't discourage others from having a good time from playing the game if they enjoy the game. You know, that's the biggest thing. Have fun. Be around the right people. If you're in a guild and you're not having fun playing the game... You know, it could be based on what guild you're in, who you're around. But, um, yeah, that's where I think. I'm having fun with the game. I'm not going to stop playing. I'm going to continue to play. I'm going to continue to grind. Uh, so the game dies, even if it does. Uh, but the thing is, too, I wanted to talk a little bit on the blue situation. Him getting uh, released from the partner program. I stepped away personally from the partner program because I just couldn't meet the requirements to stream 40 hours a month anymore. Um, but I watched his video and some of the things he said uh, I think are, are just kind of false. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Blue. He does good things for small content creators. He does a lot for the community. He does have a voice for the community. Uh, but I have seen nothing but Blue doom and gloom about the game since I started playing this game and watching him a year ago. Uh, he's done nothing but bitch about the game, bitch about um, the developers. Uh, it's always doom and gloom. Um, it's just what his content is. 
you know he talks shit that's just what he does he may you know he makes it funny um but the thing wrong the wrong thing with that is like blue blues community is a lot of new players and uh new players seeing doom and gloom is not going to help the community it's not going to help the game at all um in fact it's going to hurt it um i also feel like your guides were rushed i remember some of your older guides that you put time and effort into are so good i mean they were perfect and uh i watched you speed run a guide live on twitch um with so much misinformation um right before servers were shutting down and uh that's not good content man like you, you, it just kind of went down the drain in my opinion um so i saw it coming um uh, don't hate you you know i think you're a good entertaining streamer uh but your entertainment is uh it wasn't helping media in my opinion um but besides all that all this doom and gloom about the game i love the game i'm going to continue playing the game with the guild that i'm in i'm in bebop um we're accepting members who want to at least siege and war once a week our average gear score is 732 uh we have people that play every day um always online um grinding together boss blitzing together just warring together having fun in wars that's the thing we have so much fun in war and we want to do siege so if you're a 700 plus gear score and you're a siege class archer ranger we need those valkyries witches and wizards um please reach out to uh stacked void rots squips or myself uh if you want to reach out to me i'll point you in the right direction uh we would really love to start sieging because like i said our guild is all about having fun that's it we don't doom and gloom we bitch about the things that we want to change of course but we all hang out together we all have a good time we have an active discord good community um but yeah that's it i just wanted to talk a little bit about just about the bdo and the state of bdo and I've had a lot of fun in the last year. I mean, I've put in, you know, 4,700 hours in just over a year. Love the game. Love the community. But uh, that's it. So, yeah, I appreciate y'all. And I will uh, maybe see you, uh, see you in another video soon. Take care. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button subscribe get that bell get the notifications for the next time a new video goes up instantly you can come check me out live at twitch.tv slash 22 ghosts i'll be streaming to youtube very shortly as well i hope you guys enjoyed it i appreciate the support and i'll see you in the next one